Construct the truth table for this compound statement. This one's a little bit more complicated than the ones we've handled so far for two reasons. Number one, there are lots of operations going on here. But also, if you look through this, you notice there's a P, a Q, and an R. So there are three individual statements that we're combining with and, or, and not. So because we have three statements, now we need to account for eight possibilities because P could be true or false, Q could be true or false, and R could be true or false. So since there are two possibilities for each of them, if we multiply those together, we get eight total possibilities. And then we've listed them here for you, so you don't have to go through and list them. But basically, notice that this right here looks like what we've done so far with the truth tables with two statements, P and Q. And then this below it is identical. So essentially we have the whole truth table we had before where R is true and then another copy of that where R is false. That's basically the way that you can build these systematically. If we had four statements we would have everything you see here with all trues in the fourth statement and then this copy below with all falses. That sort of thing. So that gives you a, again a systematic way of building these truth tables with more and more statements. In this book we won't go higher than three, but that's the principle. Again, we've listed all the columns we're going to need to build toward this final statement, but notice the columns we've chosen. First we do the negations, because those are easy to do. So if we look through here we notice we have a not Q and a not P. There's no not R anywhere, so we don't need to include that one. But then we go to each of the statements in parentheses, P and not Q, so we include a column for that, and R and not P, we include a statement, a column for that. Then the last operation is to take those two columns, those two things in parentheses, and stitch them together with OR, and so that's the final column. So this can look daunting at first when you see all of these columns in here, but if you think systematically about where you want to get to, you can build up and add one column after another, remembering that for each new column, you only want to be doing one operation on two of the columns that you already have. So I wouldn't jump straight to P and not Q without first building a column for not Q. Um, because if I tried to jump straight there, I'd be more likely to make a mistake somewhere than if I approach it systematically like this. So let's dive in. The first column we'll fill in is not P. So all I do is look at the P column and reverse each of those truth values. So that would look like false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. Again, just negating each of those truth values. For not Q, I do the same thing, except now looking at the Q column so true becomes false and false becomes true. This column looks like that. Now for P and not Q, I'm going to look at the P and the not Q columns and combine them with the rule for and. Again, remember the rule for and is that it's only true if both of the initial statements are true. In the first row it's false because not Q is false. In the second row it's true because both P and not Q are true. Then it's false, 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 true again because both of them are true, and then false and false. So there's only two times that that compound statement is true. For R and not P I do the same operation, but now combining the column for R with the column for not P. Using the fact that AND is only true if both are true, the first entry is false, as is the second one. The third entry is true though, because both R and not P are true in that case, and the next case as well. But then the rest are all false, because at least one of them is false. The last thing to do to get to the final statement that we want is to combine 
the two columns we've just built using the OR operation. And remember, the OR operation is true as long as at least one of them is true. So if either one is true, or if both are true, then we'll put a true here. In the first entry, we put false, then true, 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 then false, true, false, false. Notice that all we've done is combine those two, and anytime there was at least one true in those two columns, we put true in the last column, otherwise we put false. So again, this is more complicated than the ones we've seen so far, but the principles are all the same. There are the three operations, and, or, and not, and each time we build a new column, we simply do one operation on either one of the columns we already have built or combining two of the columns we have already built.